Hey there, I'm Georgia. This video is gonna be a vlog style video from a YouTuber that doesn't know how to vlog. And I know that might sound stupid, like what's the difference, but when my uncle asks me how my vlog is going, a small part of me just shrivels up inside and creates another poor unfortunate soul to add to my damaged ego collection, if you will. So most of this will be narrated as I'm a perfectionist and I want you to enjoy this video as much as my other ones. Here we go. So I went on a plane to Dubai. Past Georgia thought she wouldn't need to clarify this, so she got absolutely no footage on the plane. Yeah, except for this video I sent to my mum. It was a little haul of the toiletries bag I was given. Because what can I say? She froths that shit, okay? Oh, and there's a quick little display of the leg room. There we go. Um, I booked this flight through the Kayak app, and if your spidey senses are picking up an advertisement, you would be correct! <laughs> Now look, I don't say yes to ads unless I actually bloody use the thing I'm promoting, right? I use Kayak every time I travel, guys. You just download the app, type in where you want to go and when. Kayak scans the internet and finds better deals for you. It's seriously so easy. And it's free! Who doesn't love a free app? It really does save a lot of time and my computer likes me better because I don't have all these tabs open. It's just good shit, alright? Get onto it. Anyway, we landed in Dubai and the next day I was up bright and early for a safari tour. And hold up! Look! Okay. I know a lot of people get triggered when they see animals wearing garments and handled by humans. Little doily looking thing around his mouth is so they don't spit on you. They can still breathe. All right, calm down, Diane. Anyway, people always instantly think it's being abused, but don't worry, this doesn't hurt the donkey. I made that joke on my Instagram story and I was disappointed to see how many people genuinely thought I was that stupid. I don't know whether, I just, I wanna cry. <laughs> you wanna scream? You thought I seriously looked at this massive creature in the middle of a desert with a ladle looking neck and a huge hump on its back and thought, Yep, that's a donkey. Guys, I, I had to book this experience online and then go onto kayak and book the taxi to go to the safari tour. You didn't think, I don't know, somewhere along the lines the word camel would have been mentioned. But anyway, riding the camel was really bloody cool uh, until the tour guide told him to run. Yeah, amazing. Go run. Run? <laughs> oh my god. This guy probably makes the same joke every time he does a tour and still gets a kick out of it, but I respect it. The camels got some treats afterwards and then we were taken into a camp for some traditional breakfast. This was really kind of them to do this for us. Because a lot of them were actually doing Ramadan at the time, so they were fasting all day, but they still made breakfast for us, which was very sweet. I will say, this looked almost too perfect to be real. It was like straight out of a photo. I felt like I was in a simulation. Like these goats just spawned out of nowhere. I don't know where they came like, from. Look at that pot. Like that's too perfect. I was waiting for a little floating diamond and a search button to appear above it. Spoiler alert, I did check. There was nothing in the pot. That's so Oh, and this one's only got one horn. Yeah. It's a horn. <laughs> he lost it in prison. Yeah, he's been fighting too much. That's why he lost one of the horns. Is that why he's out there and they're all, all the rest are in there? Is he an outcast? I got doled up back at my hotel and then I got a taxi to the Burj Khalifa, which is actually the tallest building in the world. When I booked my accommodation through Kayak, I made sure to pick somewhere that wasn't too far away from all the activities I wanted to do, which was really simple because Kayak also have this map feature where you can see how many fun activities and restaurants are around your accommodation. And I'm in Dubai, so of course I'm not short on options. I'm here in Dubai as it's the perfect stopover destination when traveling from Australia to the UK or another European country as a solo traveler. They know what's good here. We've even made the bottom of a cornetto just for me because the bottom bit's always the best. I was here for only three days and I cannot believe just how much stuff I got to cram in. For example, today I want to check out the souk market to experience another side of Dubai. But don't let the word market misconstrue you, all right? If you were also expecting something like a relaxing Sunday olive tree market where, you know, you stroll around and a live acoustic band plays while you sniff some handmade soaps and body butters, you'd be wrong, all right? All my ADHD girlies out there, you better pop a Ritalin before entering this chaos. <laughs> and I was hesitant at first as I'm a female. I didn't know what to expect walking around the markets alone in a different country, but it wasn't this. Shakira. Shakira. The Shakira. The Shakira. Hello. Shakira, how are you? Not, I'm not Shakira. Apparently every white woman in Dubai is Shakira, which I found both flattering and funny. <laughs> now I was quite covered up, but I also saw heaps of people just walking around in singlets and shorts, so, so it's a lot more chill than people make it out to be. Honestly, the only thing these guys want from you is a good sale, and trust me, they are sales people. Excuse me. Spicy is up. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Good afternoon. Oh, good, yeah. <laughs> good afternoon morning to you too. He's not wrong. He ain't wrong. It is after morning. Oh, shit. I thought. <laughs> Tell you what, if these guys were influencers, their commission rates would be through the bloody roof. Okay? Like, I got sucked in. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that's all smells so nice. Oh, wow. Is that spearmint? Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm so invested in spices now. I really want to take some of this yellow curry home. I ended up walking out with three bags of curry powder and a candle holder. I did have to declare the curry powder at customs. I can't wait to just put it in my pantry and forget all about it. And then rediscover it in its new form of a hard lump in 2027 and go, oh, that's, yeah, that's right. I bought that in Dubai. Yeah. Jokes aside, I really liked this chaos. It actually took me out of my comfort zone as a little home hermit that I am. Because one minute you'll find yourself walking past a jewellery shop looking at necklaces that are so heavy they could hold down Tai Lung. And the next minute you'll find yourself whisked away down some Diagon Alley sniffing spices and burning incense. The last day I spent shooting an ad for Dubai tourism and yes, a real ad, not a shitty influencer one. It felt like a main character. <laughs> I'm feeling very, very special right now because Zendaya has worn this microphone. <laughs> this has been on Zendaya's boob. Spending this short time in Dubai and achieving as much as I did has made me change my mind about solo travel. It's seriously worth it. Dubai is a very safe country and trust me, you'll be taken care of. If you like this format of video, um, please give it a thumbs up as this is different to what I usually do and I just hope you liked it. <laughs> also, don't forget to download the app Kayak. It'll be linked in my description. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I've been absent, been overseas. See you later, potato.